Okay, so we're going to talk about products and uh, services now with your Google My Business profile. Now remember, this is more of a local type thing. However, people can find out about you from anywhere as long as they'd have to type in the correct information in Google search to get you up from outside of the local area. But um, so I'm going to show you how to create firstly a product. Okay, so what we do is we go to the products on the left hand side. Okay, and as you can see, we've got all the products here listed here. Okay, now you can see we've put you've got a, t a title. Um, you've got um, you can create your own categories. Um, you put the price in, you can have a price range as well, a product description, and then a link to order online. Now, you can also, if you would like to, you could also put a shortcut URL to track those links or a UTC campaign URL um, to also track the links. And uh, I've provided the information on where you can get a shortcut URL like bit.ly, bitly.com, or um, there's a there's a number of sites that allow you to generate the UTC, which is basically just a URL at the end, some coding at the end of your URL, so you can track information in Google Analytics. Okay, so you can basically put them into groups, like he's done here with tinctures, and then we've got the lotions, and then the topicals. Okay, and also sprays. So all of these products are listed on here. So there's not a lot to it, um, and I would suggest as long as you're not putting hundreds and hundreds of products in there. I'd suggest putting them in there. They they stay in there. They don't go away. Like it's not like a blog post that that disappears after a period of time. Um, so yeah, there you go. So that's the products. Now I'm going to show you the services. So we get to the services part, um, and this is back to my business now. And you'll see when you when you create your account, you put your account under certain categories. And mine is web design, and I can't remember what the second one is to be honest. Um, but you'll see my services are listed under those. Okay. And you'll see I put a URL in there. It doesn't appear here, but when I click on it, when, when you look at it on the website, it actually appears, okay? I've got a little shortcut URL in there to my service, okay? So what you do is whatever, I can't really change this because I've only got a couple of categories I can put them under, but I can add and edit any of the services underneath the, the categories, what categories I, I come under, all right? There's a whole bunch of other categories uh, in in Google um, in Google My Business that I could probably put myself under, but it's not really what I do, so I just don't take the risk of pretending to do what I don't actually do. So yeah, so um, with each with each service, you basically get the title and the description. Um, you can also put a price in there, um, but you know you know like. <laughs> With web design, it's like how long is a piece of string, you know? Uh, and I don't want to sort of put a low price there and then have to tell clients, well, I, it's going to be a hell of a lot more, because anyone who's going, going to, uh, anyone who's going to contact me is usually someone in in functional medicine field, and is usually somebody who is uh, who who wants the type of service that I provide, because you know, if if you're a web developer, you know, you'll get you know, little cousin Johnny quoting five hundred dollars. So you know, I, I don't want to compete with people like that. You know, um, and I don't really want the customers who think that that's the sort of price that they should pay. Um, I mean, they can pay that, and some of them tried and, and did that at first. But the best thing is to just try, try to be as honest as you possibly can uh, on here without too many flourishes, which is why I call them flourishes, which is sort of going a little bit over overselling what you actually do or, or saying that you do things that you don't do. It's just not worth it. So yeah, that's basically how products and services work uh, on Google My Business. It's quite quite simple. Uh, it's best to have all the content ready before you go, uh, to put up there before you go. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Uh, so I hope this video helped. Thank you. Bye-bye.